Hello there, thanks for tuning in again. Um, so today's still water pattern, I'm going to tie a very basic buzzer. Uh, in the vise, you'll see a Hanak 310 barbless buzzer hook, and this one's at size 8. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is cast on my thread, which is the UTC in black. This is the 70 denier. Just a little bit of wax to help me get set off. And I'm going to catch that in just a millimetre or so up from the eye of the hook. Now, a lot of people tie their buzzers on uh, straight hooks now, and I, I certainly have a mixture. I prefer the straight hooks for fishing if I'm going to move the flies i.e. retrieve them figure of eight or, or short pools, whatever. But if I'm fishing them static, or as static as I can get it, I tend to fish these curved hooks. I don't know why. It's, uh, I'm sure it's all a nonsense, but that's, that's me. So I'm going to trim my tail away. And the rib for this fly, I'm going to use some of this. It's Vineyard French wire silver and it's number 27. I've also already got a small bit taken off so I'm going to grab that, straighten it out and I want that to run up the length of the body of the fly. So I'm going to catch it up in so that I get that. And it's just caught in on my side, nice. And then I'm going to run my thread back up the body of the hook. Now, I want the thread to flatten out, so I'm going to spin anti-clockwise. Just push that rib down with my fingers. Again, it will tend to start spinning up again, so when it does, just stop, steady everything up, and then anti-clockwise, and you'll flatten your thread out. I like the UTC for buzzers, it um, has a little shine to it that other threads just don't seem to have and it flattens out really well for this type of fly. So, we've come up to the thorax there and now I'm going to wind my rib towards me in equally spaced open turns. Now there's lots of lots of folks use uh, strip peacock quills for the bodies now. There's magic quills. There's coloured quills. There's all manner of different things to uh, make buzzers with, and I hope that you'll bear with me long enough to explore them in the future. Uh, what's available to fly tires now is, is fantastic compared to 20 years ago. So I'm just going to remove that. And what I'm going to do is just adjust the hook in the vise slightly because all my business is going to be done up in the thorax now. So that's sitting nicely. So next we're going to put our, our buds in and what I'm going to use for this is this orange goose by it. It's a lovely vibrant colour this and Unfortunately, I keep all my goose bites in a packet, so I can't tell you where I got this one. But it's um, a really nice, bright colour. So I'm going to take off two strips. I'll just get the first one in so I don't misplace it. And I'm going to catch it just so that the tip is directly behind the eye. Two or three turns, first one. Then... I'll grab another one, and you'll be able to see better this time, I hope. Just bend the eye, come over and catch that in. Then I'm going to come back, holding the goose bites to the rear, 
and I'm going to build myself a nice thorax. Not too worried about the fur at this stage because it's going to take a little while just to get that thorax to the shape that you want. Uh, and it's always worth putting the time and effort in if you want a really nice finish on your buzzer. Bear with me, I'm getting there. Now as I get nearer finishing, I just want to get that thread nice and flat again to give me as smooth a finish as I can get. And we've got that, that rugby ball shape that I'm after. Okay, so now we're going to bring our, our wing casing round. And I do them both at the same time. I'll try and be careful. And so they're running parallel. In fact, if I move my fingers away, parallel with the eye of the hook. Next thing then, just a holding loop over the top. And it's worth just turning to make sure sorry my vice has malfunctioned make sure they're sitting where you want them to sit that's looking pretty good so I'm now going to lock that in for two or three turns and while keeping the thread under tension one at a time just remove your bud casing and I'm going to just give that a couple of wraps to finish off and I am going to put a couple of half hitches in as I'm sure you're all well aware now I don't use a whip finish tool and once that's done I can trim that away and let's just loosen that off and let's see what we've got Yep, happy with that. Right, you could just banish the head of that and fish it away and it'll fish perfectly well. But a lot of people like to um, varnish their buzzers up. And there's, there's a massive debate about is UV resin good enough for um, buzzers? Or do you need six coats of Sally Hansen and 24 hours drying time between coats? Well, Al Owen ties some of the nicest buzzers you'll ever see. And he is a big fan of it gets one coat of Sally Hansen and it's allowed 24 hours to dry and he repeats that process six times so one fly takes a week uh, I just don't have that long in life so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use UV resin to kick off with I'm using the Solaris it has a brush quite a small brush actually it's really handy I'm going to loosen my vise so I can work the resin Just take a little bit of time this, but not six days, so bear with me. And the more time you take, the better finish you'll get. Before I came across the Solaris, I used to use um, Troutline's UV resin and it was very good, but it it didn't come with this handy brushes and that's probably the only reason I, I use this now I just find the brush really handy try and get it nice and even and then come in with a UV pen or torch and just cure it takes a little time then top coat so 
So that's one coat. Now, you may well think that'll do it, uh, away you go. But I like to give it another coat just to build up profile on the fly. And I'm going to largely ignore the bottom part of the fly. So I'm concentrating most of my efforts now on the head and the thorax area. Coming again. So you're doing it in stages rather than just plonking all a bunch of UV onto the hook and then trying to cure it. That doesn't work well. It doesn't work particularly well. Not for me. Uh, some of the resin companies are doing thicker stuff now that makes your life a little bit easier I'm told but I haven't got any of that so I'll just stick with my tried and tested method. Okay, so I'm pretty happy that that's cured. And because of my belts and braces man, I'm going to give it a coat of Sally Hansen. Again, try and get the bulk of it up towards the thorax, but you do want to cover the whole fly. And there we go. I would then take this off and remove it to the side to dry. I hope that makes sense. Thanks very much for watching.